It's for me when he's at his best and looks most likely. And there's evidence of the flow of Darian Price. He's picking himself up in interviews at the minute. He thinks he knows the title's coming and his opponents do as well. Dimitri fires back with his first match. Yeah, well, he'd be aware that not only what he's doing in matches, but how he's playing in, in practice. You always have that feeling. You, you sort of get that you get that little feeling in your stomach that you know you're playing well. Dimitri requires 64. This could get awkward for Dimitri. It might just be one dart or double. It's going to be just the one. Same segment, double 16. 48. Already opportunity Gary for Gerwin Price. 40. And he's been pretty on point on this double this weekend. And he gets the double turn and a big roll from Gary Price. Break a throw, leads 2 0. He played well and maybe he saw the positives, the way he played, rather than sometimes he'd be very negative in an interview when he loses a match. Show me a happy loser and I won't show you a winner. Yeah, he got the balance right and started well here. Plenty for Dimitri Vandenberg to ponder already. 57. In this match. Yeah, well, he's, like you said, he's, he's continuing where he left off. Another one of those. Double eight for a 12 dart hold of throw. You would think Dimitri he will 100 be back for double four. Oh, hold that thought. Is there a way in? He's going right. Oh, he is in. What a shot this would be. Price thinks it's going, and it has gone. Some shot from Dimitri Vandenberg. So he's faced an absolute barrage in his opening three legs. A little nod of the head from Gerwin Price. The 6 3 scoreline was a bit flattering. Oh, double 10. 120. Dimitri Vandenberg. Dimitri Vakwile. On another big out. He's just feeding on scraps, isn't he? And this is just for a holder throw. Surely not. Oh, it's unlucky. Only the wire denying him. 120. Gerwin, you require 20. The 5 1. He's edging closer, that's three, Mr. Double Ten. Ten. A rare opportunity. Dimitri and that's been his Achilles heel this year, hasn't it? Dimitri is not always comfortable on double top. Oh, there we go, he's got an unlucky deflection there. Well, if the second died in no favours, there might have been a window to move along the hockey, but he didn't. More opportunities for Price, he's making a meal of this leg. But he Gary does get that in the end. 5 1. Another rare trebleist visit. Not even. I feel Dimitri needs the lot here. Yes. A 140 takes him to a finish. Oh, 96. Gary, you require 136. Two visits. If he needs them, he'd love to get it done in one. Double eight to do just that. Right on the inside wire. Well thrown dart. Attacking the target. And there's a couple of attempts at 1-3-6. These may be Vandenberg's last darts in this tournament. Price waiting on double four 85. to wrap up a fine display. Gary you require eight. And book his spot in the semi-finals. He does do that. That is some performance from Gary Price and acknowledged by Dimitri Vandenberg. Average just short of 105 in the run. Well, Nathan's finishing was the really impressive part of his game yesterday when he took out Marco Kanzler. And he was hitting two thirds of his darts 83. at double. Left himself a bogey number, so he's not going to get a dart at double when he returns in his next visit. And this setup shot Whoa. might be crucial because Smith is guaranteed a look at that 76 for a 3 0 lead. Nathan's just got to lay up and... 105. Michael, you require 76. An error from Michael, so there may just be the one dart here. Can he use that guy? He does use that guy. 180, 76 Smith, out. Like Cleans up the leg, 3-0, halfway to the semi-finals. By some margin. Just taking care of things on his own throw. The one break came in leg two. 58. Michael, you require and Nathan missed double 16 on the...
on a 106 combo. That's the difference. 89. And searching. For the treble nine, which was an odd choice. 80. Michael Lee McGuire, 78. Yeah, he's a bit, yeah. Yeah. Confuse me, confuse himself. He's questioning himself now. Very rare counting error for Michael Smith, but he gets one dart at top, he takes the chance, and once again, Michael Smith, when Nathan Aspinall is threatening, he's just... Injury. It's looking like he's going to lose the match, but there's a bigger picture, he's played OK here, Nathan. He's played really well. Imagine how well he might play if he wasn't in pain. Fifty-seven. Comes up dry in the search for trebles. There's Manas Rasma. Until this weekend, the only Nordic and Baltic players to win in the history of the Nordic Darts Masters. Johan Engstrom joining in now, of course. And that victory against Nathan Aspinall. Johan Engstrom. One hundred. In the final quarter, finally, is the world number one and world champion Luke Humphreys. Sandwiched in between that, we've got Rob Cross taking on Stephen Bunting. 140. Michael Smith. Oh, the lead double one. Nathan Aspinall put himself in the madhouse intentionally. Does that distract the bully boy? Does it put him off? Maybe it did. Now, it's, it's a catch-22, isn't it? It's put your opponent off, but you've got an awkward double. No room for error here. He deserves his opportunity, though, Nathan. He's got to take it. And he can no take it. Score. That's the conundrum. Yes, the 180 maybe rattled Michael, Michael Smith, but you've left, the, left the worst double on the board. And yeah. Michael Smith, this time, does get Michael it done. Smith. It's the worst leg of the match. It's a 19 data. Feel that way sometimes on, on match day. Not quite sure what the explanation is. Just, just never settle. Oh, can he fill it up? Oh, no, no, he can't. And that Steve might be one, one of those situations where 180 is so much better than the 140. Does it force him to go for the 14s? It does. Double 11. And yeah. it's taken out. 12 guard to Stephen Bunting. Great Bunting. response. The legs are up to throw first. Game. We've had two holds to throw, taking a oh, total of 31. just 25 darts between them. Got to be perfect. It's a good start. It's not a very good follow-up. 85. Dart. Robbie Rigmore, 114. Sure, he will overcomplicate this. No, nope, treble 18. Does love a treble 18, does Rob Cross. Not a massive fan of tops, though. Games on the fifth leg. Wow. Cross. Leg is and he saw from the celebration the satisfaction. At the end of a leg, they don't get a chance. Because it's just wrapped up, packed away, and that's that. Nine nineteen. To leave 140. Bit of a signature shot of Rob Cross, this in fact, although I don't think the bullet is going to go to the 18s. We'll see. 95. Two treble 18s will do double 16. 100. He might go this way. The World Championship shot. What? Not a shot I was particularly familiar with. 54, 54, 32. Certainly won't forget that one. one. Maybe a double after 12. Ninety-six. Steve New require forty. Know this to double his leg tally. Games on the sixth leg. Very nicely done. One hundred and seven. Really does damage his hopes. But oof, Rob Cross unable to produce the one seventy. Yeah, even the straight turn there Steve would have been one hundred and thirty-one. Far better, meaning that. The visit would have only needed the, the one treble in the combination. Yeah, as it is, it's got to be perfect. Two trebles and a double, or a treble and two doubles. 
and he can't get the first bit right. So the chance disappears immediately, and Rob Cross has an opportunity to wrap it up. His Robbie usual route here, 72. treble 20, double six. That's the first bit done, double six for the match. He James keeps on, on winning. Oh, Rob Cross, oh, our champion in New York, is still in the hunt for the title. He was super casual with that last start, wasn't he? He was on the walk, wasn't he? Yeah. One Move thrown in stride, that last start. And Humphreys has got this match firmly in his grasp. Oh, and 34. Oh, lovely leg. 180, 140, 134. Seven big trebles in nine darts. 98. Luca Dugua, 47. For potentially an 11 darts and another break. Settle for 12. Yeah, here's a 12 dart. Halfway Humphrey. to the semi final. Humphrey's hitting a 180 because he's hit one in every leg so far. He's working with you. Well. He's almost in. January 107. Engstrom with a chance to get a leg on the board. He's had opportunities in the opening couple. I'm sure he'd have gone for that as well if he found the second treble. Oh, brilliant oh. setup. Well, my mate Steve-O just confirm, confirming for me. Oh, no. Stefan Lord, in fact, did you win the New York twice, 1980 and 1982. And you think of the players that were around in that era. Yeah, on the fifth oh, Engstrom, yeah. presumably, is on the ball. I'm a fan. Oh, he is so good. And you require 96. Such a massive element to his game. Options, double double, or stay there. Oh, he felt but there was room. It, I, I, he has a stacking style, 72. so I don't mind that. Yeah, that was okay. Execution wasn't there. Humphreys to go one away. Yeah. And he is one it's away. On the sick leg. And he, you can see. Oh. And he, he's, oh, he's actually improved on his average from his opening game, which was just over 92. Engstrom right now averaging 95-36. Credit where it's due, Webby. Uh, each starts to go up there, play his game, and hope for some errors from Humphreys. And Engstrom will oh, be proud of his efforts here, Maybe frustrated with the opportunity he missed in the op opening couple of legs. This could be the match here. Come and gone. Engstrom you're on your has a chance to hang around in this tie. Should get just the one dart at tops, and that's not going to be a blocker. 40. Uh, Who could require 25? That is probably that. Humphreys. Many of us expected this sort of outcome in yeah, and it's just a professional the performance from Luke Humphreys. Humphreys. Credit to Johan Engstrom, he can't back up that victory. Both players seem to have woken up. 140. It's more like it. Fifty-eight. Michael, you require eighty-nine. May only get one of the bullseye here. Well, it's better than that. Double sixteen. Double eight. We're a twelve darter. Half the, the number of darts. It Michael took the last Smith, leg to be one. That will settle Michael Smith down. A sarcastic raise of the arms. 41, the man who could easily have taken the title in New York, let it slip from his grasp. That'll do. Yeah. Smith's in trouble here. Strange performance from Michael Smith. So the up the scoring, but there's been some really wayward darts at times. And Price could never have dreamt with an 86 average he'd be going 4 1 up with a double break. That's the reality if he hits this double 10. Which he pinned in the last leg. Can't 30. on this occasion. Michael, you require 154. You don't think it's going to go, but this is Michael Smith. 
needed to be flawless, and it wasn't. 64, going to require 10. Leaves himself 90. Working his way. Five. But not into the double five. Michael, you require 90. Miss starts for 4 1. Double 15, come to on this side of the board, just overdid it. No and score. He burst his going score. To require five. He is frustrated, Michael Smith. Gain and that will compound his frustrations, get him in price in a 4 price. 1 lead, but crucially, there's a double break in there. Six leg, and we should this match. He's not going to be feeling great about himself regardless in that break, Michael Smith. But if he can, like you said, Dan, pinch this leg and get in at 4 2. Something to work with, but that's not going to help his cause. Price is second match of the match. 57. And look, while Michael Smith scoring over the course of the game has been pretty good, Gerwin Price has had. 22 darts at double in this 94. game already. Michael, you require 164. And he may well be getting more in this leg to go 5 1 up. Michael Smith can stop him, but he needed to be perfect. 92. Go in, you require 84. 5 1 on the break. May just be the one dart at the ball. And it is. Big dart. 59. Price can't take it. Needs Michael, this, Michael Smith. 72. Important shot incoming. Double eight. 56. It's just another double that's been missed. And Gary Michael Smith 25. looks to be sinking. Oh, my word, he's missed a big number, seven left. Gerwin Price is playing one of the worst games he's played all year. And Gary he's five, one leg. up and Gary two Price. legs away. Michael Smith has had darts, by my reckoning, to win every single leg of this game. He's five, one down. There you go. 55. Yeah, the first one, as if it's sort of festered in his performance, Dan, hasn't it? He was comfortably in control of leg one. Get yourself off, and then trying to tap the throw. Got one out of ten data. Just a really kickstart thing. Straight at the bullseye. He's not doing it, is he? Double ten. Games Much the more like leg. it. Michael Smith. I like what we associate with this pair. 12 darts from Smith, a 13 darts from Gerwin Price. And it could be all too what little, too late for Michael. He'll keep going, Michael Smith. But it's a big ask. 43. What He's done it again. Michael Smith, in his last two legs on throw since coming back for the break, has left 50 after nine darts. 134. Michael, you require 50. Ten segment. Goes hunting that treble. He gets the top. So uh, no reaction with Michael, Michael Smith because he's obviously Ten very frustrated how this match is going. He's rushing a bit here, Michael Smith. He's a bit fed up and just wants to get on with it. 140. Gerwin just looking to reassert himself in this leg. Needs another travel. And that he really didn't need. Even a single 20 got into a finish. Price is going to be on something. And he'll get a chance to wrap up the match. It'll be a one treble combo. It'll be by far the biggest finish of the match. Smith's just got to ask the question and hope 90. Price yeah, when you require doesn't take out the first turn plus finish in this semi-final. He may well do it to wrap it up in style. It's been a pretty low-key affair, but yeah, Price yeah, is yeah. in the final. No real celebration. Yeah, Michael yeah. Smith will be so frustrated. Dropped off a bit, and it wasn't drastic, but it was enough to mean there were other guys being picked ahead of him. Well, he had a little break from World Series action, and yet now he's back. And you look at his strike rate in these events. This is only his 21st appearance. Oh, he he's won four, and he's made three more finals. It's not bad going. I realise, you know, you're only playing four matches to go and win these titles. One third of the events, he's making the final. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, their, their biggest match would be that slam final, Ooh, wouldn't it? 68. Yeah, it's the highest quality slam final we've ever seen. Bullseye it is. And that is the bullseye. Luke Humphries is off and running. The world champion, world number one. He's not going to find himself 5 0 down. 
may bring the bullseye into play here. Ooh, took the gamble, it's not quite paid off. Well, the way he can find those gaps, uh, I don't blame him. One, two, five's not a particularly horrible shot. I love that. Trouble 20 leaves tops. 105. Look at it, 125. Okay, well, the shot dies. This time, got the line right. Slightly over pitches, does Bobby leave 20, so 80. pressure on the 80 for Cross to hold. Well, we will have a fourth consecutive break of throw. Not happy with that one. But his mood improves immediately as Rob Cross once again. Now he's left Robbie himself Moore, seriously vulnerable. In a leg, I feel, he has to win. This for 5-1. To the 14s. Oh, double 11, Rob Cross. Oh, Misses a dart for five. One. But Luke Humphreys, he's going to get one dart. Double top. And he cannot take the chance, and he's going to find himself with another mountain Robbie to climb Reguard against Volsi. 22. Yeah, just. One from seven on the doubles for Humphreys isn't going to cut it. Three for double four. Oh, no. Still got the shot, but it's double one. No score. Not the double he was Luke after, Luke not the dart he was after. Luke Humphreys is after Rob Cross, but he's still got serious chasing to do. That yeah, is step the one, leg. and there's a clench of the fist and a grit of the teeth for the world champion. Performance is their Robbie doubling statistic. Outside of that, they're playing to par. Both scoring magnificently, aren't they? 57. Luke Aguirre, 101. It's been breaks of throw since the mid-game break. But Luke Humphreys is not going to get a chance 49. to break in this visit, and he may not get another one Bobby in this leg. Rob Cross 60. to move to the hill, the brink of victory. It's out of the way. We've had five breaks of throw yeah, in nine legs, leg. and that's back to, to back. Luke, throw first. Game. Trying to close out the match on throw against the world champion and world number one. 20. 50 left Robbie after Rick nine. 50. World class. <laughs> to beat him again, and for another final. Two match darts missed, and he's Humphreys close enough to punish. Well, I closed my notes down. 40. The mic was put Robbie down. Require 32. This to put down Luke Humphreys' title hopes. Next door for double eight. And yes, a champion sir. in New York Burn may the yet be the champion in Copenhagen. Two. He's grabbed an early break, and it's such a positive start in comparison to the semi final. When I say that, he won the opening two legs, but he did it in 44 darts. <laughs> we can do that. <laughs> he's won the opening in 15, he's teeing up here, and it's nice to be all too aware of where the final last week got away from him, not being able to close out key legs. Trouble 16, he will stay there. Yeah, again, tidying up very nicely. Tops after 12 on throw. Doing to Rob Cross what Rob Cross has been doing to everybody else this tournament. 96. Going to require a spell that Rob Cross has had this weekend. It's early. And he's one of the best at digging in and chasing down an opponent. 20. As he proved last week. Time for Gedwin Price in this leg. Already one from five on the doubles. 99. He will Gary have to, at some stage, 20. eliminate these errors, or he will get punished. Games on the second leg. Gary Price. Good leg. Next ball.
he consolidate that double break and grab himself a four leg lead then he'll start maybe to think about clinching this title and end this One kind of mini drought his last title was in November a pro tour when he beat Dave Chisnell yeah player of his undoubted quality 38 that's too long a gap even well even more so nowadays where there's so many events being shared amongst the players 139 he has been getting closer this year a couple of finals one last week one on the european tour he lost out to martin schindler but he backs himself to find a way and he's fired up here early yeah i think he i think he plays better when there's one when there's jeopardy another when that adrenaline is coursing through his veins he needs it to produce his best for me again when you require 170. you said Rob Cross would come back at him and here's his chance to recoup one of those breaks of throw Rob you require 72 and they only get one though and Price has left himself really handy Forty. get when you require None from 36. three on double 16 and he could find himself falling all down here it's a great guy to use there. And Price's two breaks of throw 15 have been in 15 darts. The two holes have been in 17 darts. Last start from Rob Cross. It's only a ton. 78. Yeah, a couple of wild ones there. Despite leading 4 1, he, he doesn't look comfortable to me, Webby. And that is based on what happened last week. I'm... Yeah! He knows. Cross is capable of chasing him down. Uh, and based on, he'll be fully aware that the levels that, that Cross has been playing at, the, the players may Robbie like to claim, oh, I don't know, I didn't watch it. They'll be aware of the level of play of all the players. That was a big two treble visit for Gedwin Price. 63. Get when you require 88. Cushion here. This is uh, taking his time. He knows this is big. Get and he pins a double 14. You can tell by the reaction we've done with Price how vital that could be in this final. A long set match in the world. You, you break it down into just individual matches. And that will be the thought process here. One on two. Put the pressure back on Gedwin Price. Just drifting left. Yeah, this is making things rather awkward. 59. Go when you require 148. Price better placed. Certainly is now if he gets another. 77. Rob, you require 117. Wow. Huge passage of play coming up in this final. Treble 19 to keep the shot alive. He can't find it. How costly will that last out be from Gedwin Price? It makes me want that to double here. The dart will be at tops. 31. And the slip through Cross. Robbie required 24. It's just one. You can see him just going through the ringer. You wouldn't, if you were looking at these, you'd think it would be him trailing 6 4. Games from the 11th leg, Rob Cross. Cross. Well, no, credit to Gedwin Price. Crazy. It looked like he had the weight of the world on his shoulders at parts in that previous leg, as if he doubting whether what had happened last week was going to happen again. He's putting himself 60. in a commanding position. Again. He'll take that. Squares things up. Two dart finish. Another possible 11 dart leg. That would be his second. 60. Going in three legs 100. played. And has the luxury, Chris, of just being able to yeah. tee up if needs be. Being able to be aggressive on the top sock. Brilliant. And one leg away. 
We said he, he could afford to drop. Wrestle the throw away and take absolute control. 140. Man, if he could do it here, Chris, avoid the drama of throwing out for the yeah. flat Well, he failed last weekend in a deciding leg. Had the darts. 140. One hundred and forty. Oh, he thinks he's got it done and dusted. Well, he's going to get an opportunity. Going to at least get a dart at the ball, isn't he? Ninety-six. Going to require it. This for the title. And his first of 2024. And it's double seven for Gerwin Price. 72. He's missed the match there. Cross will have a pop of this one away to prolong this final. 19s. Four 19s. Leave his second favourite. Oh, wow. Well, usually when that happens, the double goes in. Not this time. An awkward Gary double though for Gerwin Price. He's had one match out already. And he's going to get one more here. Yeah. And he only needs the one more. And Gerwin Price Two is the champion four. here in Copenhagen. And he ends that run of months without a title. Gary last November was his last individual title. He's got to two finals this year.